All right, hey folks, man, uh, Sean Thornton with Paraclete Consulting Group. We're out here today at the Secure American Now training facility in Seguin, Texas. Uh, we've had probably 80 folks come out here for our grand opening. It was really special. I'd like to invite you out. You can check us out on the website at secureamericanow.us. Uh, Billy Gibbons and crew from Armor Upgraders out of Katy, Richmond, Texas area down here today. They showcase many of their products, phenomenal gear. You've got to check them out today. Billy set up a little thing for me to display their product. All right, just one of the many items that can go inside a clipboard for law enforcement. So you're working traffic stop on the side of the road. You've got something out there that will stop rounds greater, well beyond your soft body armor that you're wearing, which is really ineffective, okay? So uh, we're gonna put 10 rounds on this thing, then we'll go down and we'll assess it and check it out. You know what, here's the thing, you can come at this in a high angle, much higher than you're going to get this, and it will catch it. Right. It is not going to deflect. Watch. Right. Cool. All right, let's go take a look at it. All right. Now, the way this Dyneema works is even coming in at an aggressive angle like this, it's going to catch it. All right, now let's see the back. Not a thing. No not exit, a thing. just a little deformation there. That's not an exit. Nope, not even close. Nope. I mean, that's minor deformation compared to some of the plates that we've seen out there. Oh, yeah. Well, 44 millimeters is the NIJ number. And here you've got uh, on a clay test, that's going to be four to five millimeters. So we're one tenth of what the requirement is. As you can see, we're kind of working a six inch group right here. Uh, hit, 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 hit nothing okay outstanding that was 10 rounds of 556 five, right. what's that how heavy would you say that is in your hands right now man uh it's two to three pounds mm -hmm. it's got to be what is it billy production weight is under three pounds three pounds it's a, it, we're, 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 we're making plates this month i had a two-year non-compete multi-curve three plus available now same stuff made out of dyneema or honeywell spectra shield no chinese bullshit on any of my stuff it's all made. And here's what's important, folks. There's two rounds within an inch apart. Generally overseas, two to three rounds on the ballistic armor we were running in 2006 to eight. Yep. It would penetrate. It would penetrate because those are 50 millimeter by 50 millimeter tiles. You crack one tile, that 50 millimeter by 50 millimeter is now open. We're addressing that because we're actually powderizing boron carbide. And this is the first we're talking about it publicly. This is going to change what we do. We're actually making our resins anti armor piercing resin. So when it comes to stopping M855 and M193 and the mean stuff, we're going to still do it at two pounds per square foot. And you don't have to do level four, you do level three, true multi-hit. None of these 50 millimeter by 50 millimeter single failure points. Because that's BS. You guys know Mike Day? Mike Day got shot 27 times. Yeah, talk to that cat about body armor and the, and the importance of multi-hit capability. All right. So you think about two rounds, one inches apart, no deformation, half, only half penetration right there. I mean, that's not even half. No, that's not even that's half. That's just pushed it back. So it's layers upon layers. Outstanding. Cool. Put some 7.62 on it? Yeah. Right. Put whatever you want on it. Well, we can always change a picture. 